YouTubers, I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make a white and wild rice pilaf. Now this fail-safe recipe is so delicious and combines both white and wild rice, mixes it with some really yummy, yummy vegetables and a hint of garlic and makes it a perfect side dish for your main course. So we have all of our ingredients laid out here. We have half a cup of wild grain rice uncooked, one cup of uncooked long grain white rice, three and a half cups of vegetable broth, we're using Swanson today, um, one onion chopped, about one cup, two stalks of celery sliced, about one cup also, and then we have two large carrots here, about one cup chopped, two tablespoons of fresh parsley chopped, two cloves of garlic minced, and then one tablespoon of olive oil. Now over here I have this like medium sized skillet, so use whatever size is going to fit all of um, your broth here, and we're gonna turn this on medium heat, and also you wanna make sure that it has a lid. And we're gonna start by adding in our olive oil and just give it a little turn around the pan just to make sure it's all nice and coated. Now we are going to add our onions, celery, carrots, and the garlic. And we are gonna let these cook in here until they're nice and tender and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so our vegetables are all nice and tender. Look just how colorful and beautiful they are. They're really gonna punch up the flavor of this rice dish. So the next step is to add all of the broth in. So we're just gonna dump this right in, as well as the wild rice, but you're still going to leave the white rice to the side. We're not ready for that yet because the wild rice takes longer to cook than the white rice. So now we're gonna bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we're gonna put the cover on reduce it to low, and let it cook for about 20 minutes, and then we'll come back to our next step. Okay, so it's been 25 minutes, and it's time for me to add in the white rice. So let's just pour this on in, give it a nice stir, then we're gonna cover it again, and let it continue cooking until the rice is tender, about 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been another 20 minutes. Let's turn our heat off and take a look here at our beautiful white and wild rice pilaf. Uh, the rice is all tender, it smells amazing in here. The great thing is, is that wild rice is pretty inexpensive and a little bit goes a long way. So the half cup in here is really gonna give it some nice texture and a really rich, nutty flavor. So this is so great, going to complement any main entree. So delicious, and how easy was that? That is how you make white and wild rice pilaf. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.